if you do what I say. And so many people want the benefits of God, but not the burdens of God. Jesus is preaching today. They want the benefits of God, but not the burdens of God. It's a burden you got to stand on by yourself. And stand on something that you know in the Bible and everybody else around you got their ifs, ands, and buts. It's a burden to try to, to, to live a faithful life and, and, and try to raise your children right and, and try to be a, a good role model in society. Sometimes it's hard. But what you do for Christ will last. We're not looking for no, no, no quick fix blessing. God got something for us. If we hold on to his word and to his will. Because verse 15 says, and so forth, I call you, I do not call you servant. I call you friend because a servant don't know what the master does. And I done told y'all everything that had told me. There are some conditions. We serve a God that does everything decent and in order. And people are trying to get out of order, trying to get into his hand, but don't want to let him into their heart. And he don't work like that. You confuse some people sometimes, but you can't confuse God no time. Show love. The same love that he has shown us by going to Calvary, dying on the cross, and removing the penalty of sin. Yeah. He's, he, he washed it away. So he said to us, if I handled your biggest problem, you should be able to handle the smallest problem, which is to love. In the New Testament, they can lay off a whole lot of stuff, but he said at the end, charity is the most, which is love. Love is something that you ain't got to go to Walmart and buy. It's nothing that you got to go on Google and try to uh, use your Apple Pay. Love is free. And freely he gives it to us, freely we should give it to others. I ain't got no problem with loving nobody because God loves me. And the songwriter say, I love him because he first loved me. The doors in the church. You may be here now.